Hey there, Professor McDonald here to explain how to find the five number summary, which includes your minimum, your first quartile, your median, your third quartile, and your maximum. You would use the five number summary for creating box plots. And we will use Excel to do this. The first step is to copy, so you'll select and copy and paste your data right into an Excel spreadsheet. Next, we'll go ahead and make a place for each one of our answers we're looking for. So we want the minimum, use caps, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. Now, to find the minimum, if your data set is sorted like we have here, it's sorted from least to greatest, all the way down, so it's very easy to identify the smallest number. Same thing for the maximum. We can quickly see that the largest number is 635.7. Now, if your data is not sorted, we have a convenient function we can use to get these same answers. Remember, if you're using a function or doing any kind of calculation in a cell, in Excel, you will press equals first. And then if you type in a few letters of whatever it is you're trying to do, you may find that there is a function that exists. This says that min returns the smallest number in a set of values. So I'll double click that, then select my data and press enter. Let's see if there's one for the maximum. I'll type in equals, then M-A-X, and there you have max at the top, which returns the largest value in a set of values. So I'll double click that, select my data, and press enter. For finding your quartiles, let's try typing in quartile. As you see, quartile.exe is at the top. It says it returns the quartile of a data set. So let's double click that. Now, notice that it wants an array first, comma, then the quartile. So I'll select the array of data, comma, and then I'm going to specify which quartile I want. One for first quartile, two for the median or the 50th percentile, and three for the third quartile, also known as the 30, excuse me, the 75th percentile. So now I'm doing the first quartile, I'll just type in the number one. For my median, select the data, press comma, and then type in two, because the median is the same thing as the second quartile or the 50th percentile. And finally, for the third quartile, select my data, press comma, and type in the number three, enter, and there I have all the answers that I need to get this question complete and correct. All right, for the, oops, I forgot to enter the last two before I hit enter. So 536.9 and 635.7. All right, so there you can see all those satisfying green check marks there. Uh, as another note, you can use the percentile function to find your quartiles. I'll put in the equal sign and type in percent or a few letters of it. And at the top, we see percentile.exe, which returns the kth percentile. So let's go ahead and double click that. Notice it wants an array, comma, k for which percentage. So we're going to select the data, press comma, and the percentage that would be below this number, if it's the first quarter or the first quartile, remember a quartile is a divider, it separates the lower 25%. So that would be 0.25 as a decimal. Press enter and notice I got the same answer as before. For the median, percentile.exc, then select my data, comma, 0.5, because it's the 50th percentile. And for the last one, what's three quarters? It's 75%. 
So I'll go ahead and put 0.75. All right. Pretty cool. You have all these different functions available within Excel. In another video, I'll explain how you would find all these answers without using a calculator at all. That way, you'll know how to make sure that the answers you're getting make sense before you enter them.